Hi folks, today is day four, post-op, partial meniscus, lateral and medial. Uh, I saw the doctor yesterday, he told me surgery went well. The new thing is the tear in my uh, medial meniscus was a radial directional tear. Uh, he, to he told me it's not, that's not bad, uh, and he gave me a script for therapy, which is going to be starting Monday afternoon. Uh, fortunate the place I found in town provides transportation, uh, physician assistant told me to try to bend it, and I've been progressing each day. And effectively, off the pain killers, I'm only taking Tomal Extra Strength Rapid Release 500 milligrams. I've only had to take a thousand milligrams yesterday, a thousand today, and that's been after doing um, some exercises twice, twice a day today. It, I felt some muscle spasms and tightening. It's still swollen quite a bit, but I have no big bandages on. I see some progress. Uh, he's had me do uh, on the bed or flat area do some. Uh, extensions but when you do the these exercises you only do it to pain you don't do it past pain uh, leg lift extensions um, I've been trying to do some stuff side to side to work the hip area on both knees which I've been this stay on my left but it's not hurting right now to try to balance out everything. Um, I've been waking up each morning about 6, 6 a.m. I get something to eat and I try to start uh, doing some exercises. Because just before I wake up, I start feeling it, it getting tighter and tighter. So I get up go to the bathroom and then I do some exercises and then after I do my exercises I, I sit down and with having it elevated as I have the leg elevated now I'm trying to get that swollen down that's what Blocking, I believe, the a lot of the progress, and of course, when you have surgery on some areas of the body, scar tissue, you have to break the scar tissue. Uh, once you do that, you, you're able to start progressing a bit more. I'm still using the crutches. Uh, I don't want to fall and go backwards in my progress. But at times in the house, I'm trying to walk without them. But I still need <coughs> them for stability and so that I don't fall and go backwards in my progress. Or, um, which I have found that I'm able to bend the knee a little more each day. And I know it will take time. This is just day four post-operative partial medial lateral meniscus surgery surgery and, and I'm my energy is back uh, yesterday I was very tired and I even went on the scale my wife was amazed it showed that I lost 20 pounds I haven't done much to lose 20 pounds maybe it's because the pain and I uh, haven't been eating much. Um, 
but my my goal is to get back in to exercise every day on a regular basis and to get back on a bicycle outside the house on the road and just to get in shape I'm 59 years old and about the time I get my body back in shape to be able to do the things I want to do uh, without having being able to uh, walking with a limp and not being able to do the things I want to do hope this video encourages others to, to be motivated and have a goal in what they want to become personally and physically and to not feel down as this doesn't define who you are what defines you is how motivated, assertive, how spiritual you are, and who you are as a person. So this helps motivate others in their rehab from surgery, whether it's knee, leg, ankle, back, or any part of the body. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Click below this red subscription button and click on like in this video. And please comment on anything about this video you liked or disliked. Thank you and have a great day.